Hello there. First of all, I want to say I really hope I don't have problems with my camera today. I use a Canon Axis camera. It's a little old one, it's about 10 years old, but it's done me well and it's the only camera I've got besides my iPhone, so I'm sticking with it. But I'm hoping that this isn't blurred as I have had been having problems with autofocus and I have to keep a steely eye on the battery. So today, <laughs> I wonder if you can guess what I'm going to paint with. <laughs> There's the bottle bottom and I have a second one. So it's going to be a double bottle bottom pour but these ones are slightly different. Instead of having the five slots for the paint to come out, these ones have got eight and I wanted to try them and I was fortunate enough to get the two different sizes so I can put one over the other which I will do now so that I can do a double bottle bottom pour. Now I've just got to get that right down hard into place so that it doesn't want to move around and we're good to go. So I've decided today to use my blues. Just love my blues and they're all made up of different colours so I can't give you an exact colour on them. This one has got a mix of blues and greens because I wanted a colour close to one that I really love called South Ocean Blue which was a Franchville brand which is now unavailable. And of course this one is just ultramarine blue which I love, beautiful bright colour. And this one is Thalo Blue, also um, a bit mixed with a little bit of iridescent, bl um, iridescent, I'm sorry, pearlescent blue as well. And this one is ultramarine, pearlescent and white, just to um, make it as light as I liked. And the last one, of course, is silver. I love my silver with my blues. And this one is just a poster paint silver. I've added some pouring medium and water to, and uh, it will do the job. So, I'm now going to start pouring my colours, one after the other, until I've got them, what I, the number I need on my canvas. wandered off for five minutes just to let the paint do its thing and it has and I've got my piece of plastic to put my bottle bottom on but before I do before I remove the bottom I will give it a quick torch there are a few little bubbles as I didn't make the paints up very long ago so I expected that and now I will remove this bottom Excellent. And time to put the colours on this one. I'm just going to angle it round slightly that direction. There we are, as I want the colour from these to overlap the edges of those colours. And I'm going to do what I have just done, pouring the colours on. Mm. Although I think I might just start with silver first and then end with silver again.
think that paint's pretty well settled now. I'll just give it another quick torch so the bubbles keep popping through. But I do really need to remove this little centre bottom now. Just want to pop a little bit of dark colour in there. Right into the centre there. And a little bit more silver. Good. Right. And more bubbles. <laughs> That's what happens when I mix the paints up an hour before I'm due to use them. Or even less, I think it's only been about half an hour. Okay, so now of course I'm going to do what I love doing, and that is to embellish, do the little embellishments I need before I put my damp paper napkin over it. Okay, so I think I might start by going... <sighs> Yeah, centre outwards, I think. Well, I've certainly done that differently. <laughs> hilarious. That one there, I went up that side instead of going through the middle. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to go through the middle anyway. <laughs> and I've just got an extra one right there. Okay, so that is actually supposed to be going back that way. <laughs> of course, I can fix that up quite easily just by coating it in the white. I hope if I just pick up some white on here and pop it on. Oh, kind of repair done. Of course, I've got to run it back the other way again now, which is what I intended doing in the first place. <laughs> I've just noticed I did it there as well. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave that. And I will take this in to the centre. Okay, that's it for me for the, all the embellishment. I am now going to get my gloves on, get my piece of damp um, paper napkin and proceed to do a reverse dip. Ready to put the paper on the, the napkin now. Just gently laying it over the <laughs> canvas that wants to curl up on me. Oh dear. Right, I might just have to pull it out slightly there. That's it. Good, that worked. And now to just lay it over my picture, like so. Right, and get my roller. I've got a rather a couple of rather large hair bubbles here. I don't want to press them down too hard, of course, because Otherwise, they can really make the picture look um, smudgy. Too smudgy for me. It's smudged anyway. That's the beauty of it. It is smudged paint. But my last one got to the point of almost being too smudgy. So um, I'm just being a little bit more careful about how I pop the towel down now. And not uh, pressing too hard. And just, just allowing the table napkin to sit on top of the paint. I think that is enough. I will just get my piece of plastic. Well, 
when I talk about getting my pieces of plastic, I have got um, paper sleeves, just the ones that you pop your sheets of paper in to protect them. And inside that, I've just got a bit of cardboard. I use them for making skins and all sorts of things. And while I've been using the bottle bottoms and the uh, paper towels, it's really handy to pop it on there and quick and easy to clean off. So I will now remove my paper towel. Sorry, I will call it paper towel, but as you know, it is table napkin. so I got a bit of a smudge mess there but I will do what I can with my spatula to define that but the colours again oh just beautiful I'm loving it and a lot of little bubbles of course that tends to be one of the side effects of doing a reverse dip so I really do need my spatula to bring these in do some defining, making some definition in the paint to um, because it is smudged so much in the middle, which is very disappointing for me. But uh, you know, it's, it's it happens. It's happened in a previous one that I've done too, although not so badly, and I was able to do much better definition of it. But this will do and I should be able to make it look more like I want it to just loving these colors just absolutely loving them the silver has come out really well and the blues have blended beautifully I absolutely love the um, ocean, deep ocean blue one I made up with the green and the blue because you've got the tints of green going through that as well. But I am going to add a wee drop of silver to the middle now because I want to make a proper centre if I can. I'm not sure how well this will work but I'm going to just dip it in and bring it up. Mm, that will do. Okay, well, that certainly has uh, turned out differently, but I'm just so in love with the colours that the shape really doesn't disappoint me. Um, I wanted to use the blues, and the, the blues that I chose are just incredibly pretty. I need a little more white paint around the edges and so I'm going to put it on now and then I'm going to do a wee bit of a tilt to see if I can even out the bits of white paint. As you can see from coming out of the nozzle here it is thick so that is something that I will be thinning it down. I usually put this paint of course into a um, uh, cup so that I can then water it down if necessary but as I only made this white paint up yesterday I didn't think I would need to water it down so that's the white I'll just run a little more along here and then I will give it a little bit of a tilt The 
is it. That is how it stays. It is beautiful. I'm very happy with it. The colours are just gorgeous. And that was another successful experiment for me. Using the um, bottle bottoms with eight ridges has certainly um, expanded out the type of design that I can do. And um, it's different to the ones with the five ridges, but uh, it still comes out just gorgeous. To me, it reminds me of a blown chrysanthemum. Just gorgeous. Or even a different sort of a dahlia. <laughs> okay, that is it. That is it for me for now. Very happy with that. Once again, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.